So, List. That was his name. I couldn't think of him a few episodes ago. List. Poor List. Nice cold open. Callus' viewpoint, Ezra showing up, AP5. And as usual, they just completely ignore the droids. Of course they do. Ugh. There's a bit where he admits he's a bounty hunter, not a rebel. And List response is, he's from Lothal, and that's enough. Yeah, that's why Callus turned traitor, you morons. God. So then we see the Chimera. I don't know what I think of that. Like, on the one hand, yeah, okay, you want a visual indicator to show when it's Thrawn's ship. That makes sense. On the other hand, I've seen the full model of that thing. You know, the, the one in real life that you could buy for, like, 50 bucks, whatever it is. I don't think I care for it. It's a little too flashy for me. I mean, I get it. The Chimera, but come on. I do like the fact that they're there to rescue Callus. In fact, I, it's kind of a shame. I wish they had just straight up rescued Callus to begin with and said to hell with their, you know... They should have just fought their way out of the light cruiser. Now things are going to go much worse, is what I'm trying to say. Because then they got on board the Chimera, and then everything went to hell. I haven't commented on it yet, but they've been playing Thrawn's theme music a few times now. It's this wonderful organ piece. I'm very fond of it. Very suitably intimidating and, of course, artistic. I also love how he is personally fighting his not-dark trooper droids. That's not only a nice little point, and very, very chiss, since a leader is, in, in, is supposed to have the same kind of training and combat capacity that their underlings have amongst the chiss ascendancy, but I also like it because it's establishing a bit of foreshadowing. Later on, the, the droids turn on him full tilt. Those droids absolutely sweep the floor with the armored and trained stormtroopers who have guns. Thrawn actually manages to hold his own against them for, for a bit, while in uniform. And that I'm completely with. What I am with a whole lot less is Price taking on Rex. Come on! There's no way. I mean, I know Rex is kind of old, but come on! Really? Really? Okay, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Yalaren. I liked Yalaren, damn it. Why did he side with the Empire? Oh well, I suppose. He's even with ISB. That's even better. He decided to go ISB. Political connections, I assume. Poor List. Callus so effortlessly pushes him towards Price. And everything leans together almost too well, which is kind of the sad part. Because Thrawn picks up on that immediately. So does Yolaren. Both of them are like, yeah, that's, that's too neat. That, that's tied up with a neat little package. That makes too much sense. And, of course, it is Thrawn who immediately puts together two and two and say, yeah, no, Callus is actually the one. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to use him to my advantage, because knowing an enemy spy is in your ranks, knowing who it is, and knowing they don't know you know, is an incredibly valuable strategic and tactical tool. It's a little bit crazy when you actually think about it, how invaluable it is. So, yeah, that's terrifying. God, if they just fought their way off the thing, I still feel bad for poor List. I suppose we'll see how things round around, wound, wind, oh my god, I can't talk, wind around next episode.